and today we're going to cover um, the preliminary evaluation and reporting, um, which is a very important first step in qualifying uh, an NDT application. Um, as many of you know, uh, when we begin the process with a customer, uh, we do provide a free part test evaluation to determine whether um, the NDT RAM system will find the defects that the customer is looking for. Um, this is a multi-step process, and the first step is after the contact is made with a potential customer, you should find out more information about the parts to be tested, for instance, the defect defect types that they are looking for, the material of the part, the weight, and production quantities. Important details can go a long way and, and help all of us uh, up front to determine if this is a good application. You should start with known good and bad parts. And for a reliable test, we request of our customers at least 30 good parts and several of each type of defect, if possible. We realize that this may not be possible uh, to get all of the defects that they're looking for, but um, you should make a request to the customer to, to provide these parts. There's two ways we can approach the preliminary parts test. You can either send them to the modal shop, and if you decide to do that, please call or email us for an RMA number before shipping. This is important because we track all of the parts tests through this RMA number. If you're testing the parts yourself, we have templates that we will provide at the end of this uh, email or the end of this meeting. Uh, we'll be happy to email them to you. And part of my presentation today will go over how those work and how it makes um, organizing the data a lot easier. After the test is complete, we create a report and we schedule a web meeting or a visit with the customer. And if you do the testing yourself, we ask that you be sure to copy us on all the parts tests by emailing the data and report to us. We ask this because we like to be able to help you um, if specific questions come up about applications, and it makes it a lot easier if we can see the same data that you have. During the web meeting or the visit, the results are shown and discussed with the customer. If the test results are positive, we ask the customer what steps they would like to take with us next. Typically, we try to guide them towards a rental or a trial period or a paid larger volume part test. If the results are inconclusive, make sure that the data has been sent to the modal shop for a second evaluation. We will evaluate the data and give you a decision on if this is a good application and some other feedback. If for some reason that we would determine that it is not a good NDT RAM application, we'll explain the reasons so you can report back to the customer. Every year, the modal shop rejects 10 to 15 percent of the part applications we receive. So do not be afraid to tell the customer, no, we do not think that this is a great NDT RAM application. So as I mentioned before, we have uh, spreadsheet templates and a report template available to use for um, organizing the data and uh, putting it into a report format. The spreadsheet allows you to uh, take the text file that's generated in the NDT RAM software and import it directly and it will generate the graphs and the table. For each of the templates, the, the instructions are on the very first page where the data needs to be copied and pasted. Once the data is pasted in the spreadsheet, the graphs, which you see here on the upper left-hand side, and the pass-fail chart, which you see here on the lower right, are generated automatically. The graph will show you, uh, the graph here on the upper left will show you exactly what frequency point the data falls on each criteria, and the table shows you which criteria each of the parts failed. In the graphs, we adjust the green boxes to mimic the size of the actual criteria on the screen. 
which is the exact same frequency points. In this case, we've got the part number on the bottom of the graph and the frequency on the left-hand side. Uh, we adjust this and do this for each of the criteria. It gives the customer a good visual picture of what the data actually looks like. Again, we have a part test uh, format that we use here. Um, it is a standard format that we review with each customer on each web meeting or visit. We've made it simple so that only the areas that are highlighted yellow need to be changed for each customer. This uh, saves a lot of time. That way you're not repeating the same typing and entering the same information over and over again. And I'm going to show you an example of a report that we did recently. Um, this customer uh, just rented a machine. Um, so all you do is fill out the customer information and the RMA number and what type of uh, what type of part and the number of parts that you see here. All the rest of it is already filled in. You just have to put in your name. Um, we typically put in a pic picture of the part and the impact point. In this case, we did it with a manual hammer and we impacted this brazing tool on the bottom of the shaft. Oops, sorry, went the wrong way. We also paste in a picture of the spectrum. As you can see, that we had four criteria on this part. And again, we pasted in the graphs from these uh, spreadsheet templates. Since there are four criteria, we'll have four graphs. As you can see, we kind of put the uh, central frequency point. Uh, it's just a rough, a rough point. But we do size the green boxes to mimic the same size as the criteria on the screen or in the software. So here are the first two criteria. And here are the second two criteria. Here's the table that was pasted from the spreadsheet template. Uh, the first two, or excuse me, the first ten parts were the known good, and the second ten were the known bad. As you can see, all of the known bad parts failed at least one of the criteria. The beginning of the summary is already completed, and you can see that we put in the final data at the end, or the final test results. We tested 20 parts, the first 10 being the known good, and all of those passed. And then the second 10 being the known defective parts, and all 10 of those failed. In the part test report template, we have three endings where you will choose the appropriate uh, response. And I'll go back to my presentation. So these are the three responses at the end after the summary you see here with the number of parts. So we have a good response, an unclear response, and a bad response. This makes it a lot easier to uh, complete the report to tell the customer, yes, this is a good application, or no, the results are unclear and we need to explore a little more, or no, we, we feel that this is not a great application for NDT RAM. The part test report is vital to an NDT RAM sale. In this report, we set these expectations with the customer to show them what we can and cannot find with the system. Both the report and the spreadsheet templates will be mailed to you after this presentation. Uh, some of you may already have these from, uh, from last year when we sent them out, but we'll be happy to send them out again. We, we realize that not everyone will have them at this point. Feel free to customize the reports for your market, but please share this information with us after you complete a test result. We want to be able to help you and guide you as you do your testing and make, the, you make your job a lot easier and set the expectations with the customer up front. When you send the copy of the, of the report, please send the report, the data, and the spreadsheet to ndt at modalshop.com. That way anybody in the NDT department can take a look at it 
and we'll save this in our archive. As always, we have plenty of NDT information at www.ndt-ram.com. And if you have any questions, feel free to email me at any time at krogers at modalshop.com.